Do you want me to take the beginning? Do you want to take the beginning of this story? You can take the beginning if you'd like. I can take the beginning. <laughs> well, if you're giving me the choice, then I'm definitely going to take oh, it. Oh, only child. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Well, Alyssa had uh, a new client. Um, a very wonderful person that we instantly became friends with and became buddies with. And she reached out to Alyssa on Instagram. They connected and she was looking to buy a house in the Sarasota, Newport Ritchie, like Bradington, Tarpon Springs, like Clearwater, like the West Coast. Or Yes, like mm -hmm. about an hour and a half from us. And she goes, do you look for homes or work in that area and Alyssa was like yeah and we're like we we love to just travel and and we'll definitely help you out and that's what gets us excited because it's yeah. easier to go 10 minutes down the street but it's more of an adventure to drive an hour and a half and see a new area so there's pros to both and we just love helping people out so on Tuesday was the first day because she's in town from Alabama she drove in from Alabama was staying in Orlando we met in the Clearwater area and we looked on Tuesday at five properties. Yeah. Or no, we saw more. I think, I think we, we saw, saw six seven. or seven. We went to, oh, we were going to see seven, but then we didn't go to the last one. Yeah, we saw six on that day. And it was awesome. Yeah. It was like the first time that we ever, um, like, we're just like going property to property. And I'm telling you, like, these reality shows nail it. It is exactly that process. And I always thought yeah. it was like, oh, really? Like, can't you just look at a house and know? It's like, no going to each place and then one's a little higher but this one has an HOA fee that's lower and it's yeah. this big puzzle that you're yeah. putting together so uh Alyssa being super organized like printed out the appointment sheet made all the appointments did the math of how long it's going to take to drive to each of the places and then as the realtor she gets access to this little lock box that realtors use it's called that, a supra key yes super key that links bluetooth to your phone and then once you're verified she can just put her phone up to it press the button and then it unlocks and then the key drops out and you can open the key walk in the empty place and then lock the, the thing and yep. go and i think back in the day you might have needed a realtor to walk you through who knows how that works well I'm, I'm saying on the other end like we only uh, saw one realtor that day out of the six places five we went by ourselves and then one person met us correct so it, i guess it all depends maybe back in the day you needed one maybe technology has helped that process maybe they hit a key under a rock who knows they how probably they did it. just had a um a, like a lock pad they still had those so that's just how they've always done I it. So, so the realtors yeah. who are the selling agent doesn't always have to be there. No, I don't think so. Interesting. So yeah, we got to walk through and um, I remember at the end of the day, we had done it, it was our sixth place and there were three that she really liked. Yes. And she was like, I'm so excited. And her daughter was talking to her on the phone and you could just hear in that conversation that the daughter was just pushing for like, a house yeah. or an extra bedroom because she wants to come with her grandkids and that's been like the big dream and I love hearing people's stories it's like the most amazing part of this whole entire journey and you could hear on the phone but she wanted to kind of make a decision but then you heard the daughter on the phone and me and Alyssa are like looking at each other and we're like why don't we just come back on Thursday and let's just look for one more day and see if something special comes up and you always have these three because it wasn't going as fast as it usually was yeah the market's a little bit different now in the sense that at least from the properties we were looking at that specific yeah. type they were on the market for a couple weeks anyway the day that we decided hey you know what let's go back on thursday see a few more properties and before we went on thursday i had a chat with my client on the phone and i was like you know you found three amazing properties that you really love. I go, but it seems like your daughter's thinking more house. You know, she's gonna bring her kids, your grandbabies to the, the place she would love a house. And she goes, you know, I haven't shared this whole story with you, but I know I'm leaning toward the condo. And in my head, I'm just thinking, oh, it's gonna be easier upkeep because she's gonna be traveling a little bit. She goes, but my true dream was always, my bucket list dream was to have the a house on the water or like near the water. And so we're like, all right, well, if that's the true thing, I go, then we got to go check this this house out. This Which her daughter out. found. Which her daughter found. And we had made a few more appointments for the rest of the day, but 
it, Thursday morning rolls around, we meet her there, we all get out of the car, and as we're walking up, she just gets like tears in her eyes, and she's like, you, you can cancel all the other appointments. Like, she just knew in that moment. And so we went in, and it was just an incredible experience. You know, the owner of the house had a really remarkable story, what he and his wife were going through, and you know, my buyer and him, they were chatting and just kind of connecting on everything. And the house was exactly what she wanted and so much more. So I just feel like sometimes in life there are no coincidences and everything happens for a reason and you're where you're supposed to be exactly when you're supposed to be. Because due to the fact that she didn't really tell us like houses, she was leaning more toward condo, I yeah. didn't really look into houses. But then her daughter found this one and so it was kind of a wild thing. We leave and we go to this private beach because with this one property, you pay 160 a year and you get unlimited access yeah. to this gorgeous, gorgeous beach front. And they brought like sand from Clearwater. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. If you guys have watched any of our stories, we do have it there. Um, and she just knew, she goes, this is it. I want to make an offer. And so we, we drove home. I got the offer drafted up. We sent it over and we were thinking, you know, this property has been on the market for couple weeks I think it had been three weeks so we wanted to obviously still give an aggressive offer that would get chosen without you know any questions asked but at the same time we're like well there's probably no need to write a letter because who's gonna be will be the only offer yeah we thought like this is a done deal so I speak with the agent later that night and I was like hey yeah we're gonna send in an offer and his energy was interesting too he goes Oh, your client's gonna love this place. You know, it's it's gonna be perfect for her. So I'm thinking this is a done deal. Like yeah. I'm so happy for her because she loved it so much. Well, I send in the offer, and with our offer, it was you know you have 24 hours before the deadline if you want to accept our offer. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, he'll either text me back tonight or like tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning rolled around. Tomorrow afternoon rolled around and we still hadn't heard anything. And I go, let me give him till the end of the business day. And at around 5 p.m. I call him and he goes, hey, he goes, thank you so much for your patience. I was going to call you. He said, we actually got a cash offer <laughs> and the owner and I are going to go every, over everything at six. Can I call you back and let you know? And I'm thinking, uh oh, like a cash offer in this market because our offer wasn't cash. It was a great offer, but it wasn't a cash offer and usually cash is king. So I call my client and I'm like, hey girl, so this is what's going on. And I, I didn't tell her it was a cash offer because I didn't want to stress her out. I wanted to give her more hope. Because here she is, she's in the middle of driving home to Alabama from Orlando. She just had this incredible week. She saw all these properties, found her dream home. Now she's going back to Alabama, get things situated, hopefully ready to close to move here. And I'm like, we got to do something. And Freddie was like, well, what if you guys do the letter? And I was like, that's a great idea. And the only problem is she was driving home to Alabama. So I go, look, I don't know how you want to do this. Let's collaborate on the phone if you're comfortable with it. Because I know this is a personal... Oh, of sharing with you. Yes. Well, because she actually... It was her idea with the letter. Yeah. I had thought about it too. But, but she actually know. said, well, let her help. And you were yes. like, yes. And she's like, but I'm driving. That's what it and was. You, yeah. And we were like, well, if you're comfortable, why don't you just, while you're driving... <laughs> tell me what you want and I will type it for you. So Alyssa's like in the other room for like 45 minutes. She's driving. Alyssa's typing out this letter. I'm like, tell me the few things that you want and we're putting together this crazy awesome letter. But the reason the letter was so great is because they had a real connection. She had yeah. so much to share and it was just like a really intimate special letter. But we end up just putting our heads together and we're going for it. And then it's probably like 9.45. I'm like, all right, I got to get this over to him, you know? And so I get it over to him and the agent's like, he had told me earlier, he goes, is it okay if we just have one more night to yeah. think on this? So I go, that's fine. That's fine. I send the letter. Didn't hear anything. The next morning, I'm like, hey, just want to make sure you got the letter. And then that's when he called me and said, um that they were pretty much going with our offer. There were a few negotiations, but long story short, she got the home. She we're got accepted. under contract, so congrats, Leanne.